Today you'll find that more and more men are comfortable being single and are choosing to remain single. From the lack of availability from women, or women's endless expectations from men, to the society and the law completely being biased against men and favoring women in divorce courts, there are many reasons for this. It's not that these men struggle with social skills, it's that they aren't attention seekers like women are. Men aren't desperate for people's attention. Strong social skills are actually a bad thing because it means you need attention and you can't function well when you don't get any external attention or validation. There is also the issue of unrealistic and unreasonable expectations, not just for women but also for us men. Many of us have become superficial due to the unrealistic beauty standards promoted in movies, TV series, magazines, etc. And that ends up with us approaching women who are either out of our league or not a good fit in terms of personality. Add to this that we dudes are humans with insecurities and some, like me, just give up at some point, preferring to focus on ourselves. There are more lonely, unmarried men than ever in the world today. This is especially troubling because, in contrast to many women, men find it difficult to live independently and suffer more as a result, at least according to statistics. And this doesn't count men who choose to go their own way, just the ones who still want women in their life. Men who are single experience loneliness since they don't have anybody to push them, to socialize with others, as is the case in typical couples where women typically maintain friendships for the couple. The obvious cost of loneliness is the emotional upheaval it brings about in a person's life. But less people are aware of how much more of an influence our connections have on our physical health. In fact, the longest study on happiness revealed that the degree of relationship pleasure was more significant to longevity than even the effect of genetics. Women are overwhelmed by their options due to the fact that men account for more than 60% of dating apps. In the post-COVID remote working world we now live in, Competition is higher than ever, and the likelihood of actually meeting someone is decreasing. I guess it's easy to say our negative perception towards women is keeping single when it's average women whose egos are blown up from likes and comments on an app. A man can only be rejected so many times by a woman before he feels spiteful towards them. If women were the ones doing the approaching and getting rejected, it would be so much worse because we all know how much more sensitive women are than men. If any woman got rejected by three men in one night, she probably wouldn't eat for a week. For men, the fact is that remaining single is one of the most crucial things you can do as a male in today's womanistic environment. There is no doubt that relationships are not an option for the majority of men in today's society who want to maintain their peace, quiet, independence and money away from the hands of the ungrateful and selfish modern women who have no direction for their lives and are on the path to self-destruction. Men must accept this grim reality and come to the conclusion that partnerships are no longer worthwhile. There are only five options available to a guy after he chooses his own path and swallows the red pill. Continue your small journey to find a good woman in the West, which is impossible. They have a quick capacity to deteriorate. Going to a country where women are still feminine, going gemiting, and heading to a feminine nation is the second option. However, Feminism is unavoidably spreading via smartphones. Third, start liking other men romantically. However, even such guys have admitted to me that it's nearly impossible to find intimacy with a male partner these days when it's so simple to get it via grinder. Four, be transgender. Five, go Meg Tao. The rewards are not worth the risks for men when it comes to dating women. And this is why more and more men are deciding to go their own way. It just doesn't make sense for men to be involved with women in relationships. When life is already too hard on men, why would they make it harder by being with women who take them for granted, take away their resources, use them and exploit them for their own gains? Although dating apps provide a speedy and practical way to meet a partner, they overlook the positive aspects of a person. Dating apps are designed to favor women. The person with the most stunning photos might not also be the most generous, while the one with the worst bio might also be the funniest person in the room. We can only discover these things through direct contact with other people. It's crucial that men understand that the persistent rejection they experience on dating apps doesn't necessarily predict how successful they will be when meeting women in person. 
By using dating apps, users often miss out on good matches, but attraction becomes more natural in social settings. By choosing to stay single and by going their own way, men who previously couldn't see light at the end of a tunnel can now see a better life ahead of them. They can now do their own thing, rebuild their lives, upskill themselves, explore nature, spend more time with their loved ones, and do some good for the community and society. The only difference is that they choose to not be involved in relationships with women, which is something that they feel does not allow them to live up to their potential as effective and productive human beings. This is a crucial reason why MGTOW is saving the manosphere. Believe it or not, staying single is bringing together men from around the world. Never before have we seen, heard, or witnessed an ideology rising as fast as MGTOW. It is unique in the sense that it unites men from around the world based on a thinking or mindset that these men have and share. For example, a man in Australia might feel that he has been betrayed too many times by women who ended up divorcing him, and as a consequence, took his house, vehicle, and other resources along with the children. So, the man feels betrayed by these women and then by the system at large, which only seeks to defend women and paint all the men with the same brush branding them as the villain in every case without even truly hearing their side of the story. Similarly, a man from India or Mexico who is going through a divorce can see what men who have lost their entire lives and the prime of their time to divorce and alimony do in similar situations. Just knowing that men around the world have or are facing similar situations can help someone. And in none of these cases are we suggesting that a man who has wronged a woman should not be punished, no. Not at all. There are hundreds of cases where men have had to give up their life savings, have their careers ruined, and have had to pay a monthly income to ex-wives who only got into relationships with these men so they could divorce these men and live off of the money from alimony. We are talking about these guys. There's no one to defend them. No one to hear their sides of the story. No one to tell them that there are others around the world who have had to face similar situations and that they are not alone. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but women don't make the world peaceful. On a little or huge scale, they cause drama, upheaval, and turbulence in the lives of mankind. There are very few ladies who won't do this, and you won't find one anytime soon. Congratulations, you're one of the fortunate ones if you do. So, I'm not sure where males get the idea of finding a woman who makes their lives peaceful. That is the hope because it is impossible for a woman to simply be submissive, silent, and willing to follow your direction. She will complicate and make your life miserable for the duration of the relationship. So be aware of this before you start dating. Women don't bring peace. They add drama, confusion, and conflict to men's lives. You won't find one of the few exceptions of women who won't do this anytime soon. If so, kudos to you. You're one of the fortunate ones. Thus. I'm not sure where males got the notion that they can find a woman who provides them calm, peace, and quiet. Understand that before you start dating her, she will make your life difficult and a living nightmare for the duration of the relationship. As a masculine man, trust me, whatever age you are, you have your life ahead of you. There's so much you can do. You can go and travel where you want. If you don't have the money, you can work at your own pace and save up. You can finally start that business you've wanted to set up. You can visit your friends more and be more social, which you weren't able to do with a woman nagging around you all the time. You can write a book. You can pursue education. You can be a gypsy and live in the mountains if that's your thing. The point is that being single opens up your world and unlocks the shackles around you when you're in a relationship. And it's just not worth spending your time and resources on modern Western women anymore. So, why do it? Why put yourself through misery deliberately?